Hello everybody, it's me Keys, and welcome back to Let's Play Head. I was about to say Hedna and Harvey, but um, it's Edna and Harvey, Harvey's new eyes. And last episode we, um, well, we introduced our friends, the termites here, into our friend Freeman. Yes, yes, we introduced them to him. It was a, um, it was a nice introduction. Um, you, we could hear him screaming with joy. So yeah, and he was so happy that he gave us the cellar key. So we got the shovel. And speaking of shovel, there you go, Etna. Yay! You found a shovel. Oh, Lily, you're the best. Let's you're not waste welcome. any time and dig up the treasure. Edna and Lily began digging out what they thought was a treasure chest. Um. That's quite a treasure chest. It looks like it might have belonged to some space pirates once. <laughs> so what? They were space pirates from World War II. Who cares? What's more important is that they left us their treasure. Come on, let's open it. I'm so excited. Um. I was gonna say, that's a bomb. <laughs> Oh boy, we might need um, Edna's new limbs a too. A real treasure chest. It was hard to tell, but Lily was actually speechless. Um, right. This worked. Now the device should have enough oomph to open the treasure chest. What? What's the matter? What are you waiting for? Don't you know how to use it? Uh-uh. Ah, don't worry. We'll find something else. Okay. For a second there, I was. Oh, that's not gonna work. Once again, more proof that the bad reputation raw violence has is completely undeserved. Here, we certainly won't get far without it. Um, I'm just horribly confused that we could use the air hammer. Oh my god. Excuse me one second. Too bad. Um, air hammer on Lily the faucet. didn't have to clean her tool now. Okay, so we need to use the air hammer for something. Well, we can interact with the stove and a, a can of food. That's still Lily some. Got along great with Doris, the lunch lady. That's why she knew Doris would start throwing knives if anyone messed up her pantry. Dang it, I'm pretty sure Mother Superior doesn't feed us enough. Let me look at Lily. She's really skinny. I mean, her neck is almost literally a pencil. Anyway, stove. The stove was black and empty, just like the mirror that always appeared in Lily's dreams. Can we can we throw Mother Superior in it? Okay. Okay. I don't think we have anything to do in there. And I'm really glad uh, you could double click the areas because um yeah, that is very very useful just to travel a bit faster. Lily wasn't allowed. In Hopefully, it wouldn't start hailing again. Um. Um. <laughs> There isn't much I can click on anymore. Can we use the rake on the bomb? That's not gonna work. We need a tool with a bit more oomph. Um, a shovel. Oh, that works Yippee! fine. You did it! Hmm, and what's that supposed to be? Those space pirates must have led a pretty miserable life if this was their most precious treasure. Well, at least we have a fabulous chest, and I already have an idea what we can do with it. We'll bury our own treasure. Do you have anything on you? Hmm. Uh -uh. Some wool from embroidery class? Wow, that's perfect! 
our friendship ribbon, the string that ties us both together, so to speak. Come on, put it in there. Now we just have to bury the chest again and... Mary! Where did the brush disappear to now? Mary! That's Mother Superior. What does she want now? <sighs> you should check before she explodes. You have to be careful, you know? That took much too long for my liking. Is everyone finally here? Freeman is missing, Mother Superior. <laughs> Say nothing more! Your lack of discipline has reached a level that I can no longer tolerate. From now on, all games on the convent grounds are forbidden. And until further notice, there will be no more dessert, and bedtime will be moved up by an hour. And in case you're wondering, it is the bad behavior of one specific student that has led me to take these measures. In my helplessness, I even decided to call on an expert for help. He's a renowned psychologist who will restore discipline and order here this in the This is going to end so well. The examination will take place this evening. The doctor will drive the mischief out of you once and for all. And I can guarantee this much. It won't be a pleasant experience. A psychological examination? Oh, Lily. I'm sure this is all about me. I desperately need a plan. Meet me near the beds. I'll need your help. You have the rest of the day off to think about what you've done wrong. I'd better not hear that you've used the time to create more mischief. And Lily, I'm expecting you in my office now. I'm very disappointed in you, Lily. Can Is that you ever do anything right? Is that a Venus flytrap? Oh, not another word. Your constant excuses just make me even angrier. I mean. And now just don't stand around like an idiot. Well, get it's a on. piranha plant. Feed the cat. Can't you see how emaciated Lumpy has gotten again? Oh, stupid ch ch child. That's a piranha. That's a that's a piranha the plant. The cheerful flower seemed to like Lily. At least it bent forward just a touch when Lily came close. Oh my god. This this woman. This woman. I swear. She wants to drive. Can we take the receipt? Stop dawdling. Feed the cat. Ooh God, that's creepy, actually. Is she staring at us? Yes. The answer is yes. But yeah, this woman wants to drive the mischief away from us. Well, the rest of the children as well. But, you know, I mean... Lumpy's bowl was nicely decorated. Life is mother... Okay, but yeah, like I said, I mean, while she's at it, she might as well also drive the demons away from us. She's a freaking nun after oh, all. What on earth are you doing? Bad, Lily. Very, very bad. You should really know that Lumpy doesn't eat regular cat food. Um. Hmm. But you've disappointed me for the last time. What? Here's the recipe for the right cat food. Bring it to Doris, the lunch lady. It contains exact instructions for preparing Lumpy's food. Doris can also find my lunch order for today on there too. Do you understand? Uh-huh. And now, get out. I have to prepare for Dr. Marcel's arrival. I'm hoping that his new method of correcting character flaws will save me this kind of trouble in the future. <sighs> Jeez. Thanks, woman. Lily felt miserable. Maybe Mother Superior was right, and this character correction would make everything better. The thought made Lily shudder. She had heard stories about Dr. Marcel. Dreadful stories. She should tell Edna the news. Dr. Marcel, you say? This confirms my worst suspicions. The doctor and I still have an old score to settle. I'm sure he's coming because of me. <sighs> Lily, I can't stay here any longer. I'm going to leave the convent and go into hiding for a while. There's just one catch. That guy, Garrett, who's constantly lurking around, I think he's spying on us for Mother Superior. So long as he keeps poking his nose into everything, I can't move freely. Do you think you can find a way to keep him off me for a while? Uh-huh. Oh, Lily. 
You're such a gem. What would I do without you? <sighs> okay. Okay there, Edna. Um, let's grab these marbles, shall we? And these are a lot of embroidered pillows. Stuck to the wall? Wait. Tsuka Blea. Uh, sorry. I, I, I had to, but your name is Shai. Shibuya Power! Shibuya Power! What? Oh. Volcano Pananoka! Shiny Rainbow Miyasake! Shing! Shing! What? 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 The Volcano Pananoka? No is it Pananoka? That oh. sounds delicious. Hey girl, you're so clueless about trends. Just look at how you dress. What? Don't you know that Shibuya and only Shibuya is hot right now? Where's your glitter? Where are your Japanese accessories? Miyabushi Sparkle! Yoroshi Sparkle! Shing! Shing! I'm um, sorry, but... <laughs> oh man, you're really but shy doesn't it, Lily. seem that shy. Lily seems a bit shyer than shy. But, um... Shibuya sounds delicious. Oh, Is it a food? Why are you gawking at my hairdo? Don't tell me you've got your eye on my original Marushu Naoki hairpin. Can you believe it, Shai? Don't believe. Just know. The warriors of light see with the power of love. Just who does she think she is? Hiroyoshi Super Frog's arch enemy Soki Nuroshi Maya Yoki Hagatsu? Down with the dark forces! Toast in the elf <laughs> magic of the glitter dust! Exactly! Everyone knows that a real Shibuya girl will only part with her hairpin if it's a real emergency. And only if facing death. Yoroshi Sparkle! Mystical spirit of the wolf! Mystical spirit of the wolf! Hamanukri! Shing! And anyway, what even makes you think we'll let you have any of our personal things? You haven't launched any radical paramilitary campaigns or done anything to help destroy the state. Wait, we what? can't let the dark what? forces win! Plus, you've never helped us destroy the school. What? Does being warriors of the light really mean we have to destroy the school? I think that's a yes! It's a little too hardcore to me. But Riot Girl does it too! On page 31 in volume 453, she puts one of Naga Yuzu's detonators in the teacher's lounge when the dark forces kidnap Musushi Rainbow. Shibuya is cool! Miyabushi Sparkle! This is real. Okay, okay. First thing is first is, you said life and death, right? So can I Lily would speak? read the recipe later. After all, she wasn't so Okay, but... See here, Suka. Um... I have this thing called an air hammer. It is very big and heavy. You said you'll only part with your ha hairpin in a life or death situation. That is a very nice window you're sitting on right there. What's that supposed to be? A weapon against the dark forces? Yes. <laughs> no real warrioress of the light would use something like that. The warriors of light see what? the power of love. Come back when you've found a samurai sword. Or one of Naga Yuzu's detonators from volume 453. Or the power of love. Exactly. Down with the dark forces. Um, I'd take... I'd, I'd, as long as I could power it, I'd take an air hammer over a... Samurai sword, thank you very much. Not in the zombie apocalypse because it's horribly loud, but have you seen what these things can do into concrete? It's great. Also, can I go into the main hall, please? Thank you. This place is big. Also, that guy has no mouth. He also doesn't have dot eyes like everybody else. Uh huh. Garrett was already there. Lily watched how her slippery fellow student disappeared into the chapel. After him. Do we really have to? Okay, this. Who do we have here then? Creepy Lily. How did it go with Mother Superior? Leave her alone, Shawnee. 
Only if she admits that all this trouble is her fault. We're, 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 we're not getting any d dessert? That's right, Memphis. And we can't play outside anymore either. Is it asking too much to want to know why? Stop picking on her. You don't really think that Lily, of all people, has done something wrong, do you? She's just not cool enough she, for she's, that. She's exactly. At least she's at such least you're a telling her not, girl. not she to. She rakes, she cleans, she cooks. It's disgusting and dangerous because somehow it always ends in a disaster. Isn't that right, Lily? Ever since you came to the convent, it's been one strange accident after another. I uh, hardly dare get out of bed anymore. But none of this is your fault, is it? After all, you only do what you're told. I'm sure you're even running an errand for Mother Superior right now. Let's see what you've got there. Shawnee. Aha! I knew it! A recipe from Mother Superior. Well, <sighs> I think I'll hold on to it for now. Let's see how Mother Superior likes having to wait for her food. And this time, our sweet Lily can face the music all by herself. <laughs> Let's go, guys. We're off. You're impossible. I mean, I know Lily isn't strong and all. I mean, she is just a little girl, especially with her pencil neck and like twig-like arms. But there are times after getting this air hammer that I have really, really wanted to swing it at people. This is one of those times. The other one was at the bomb, but hey, that was a bomb. Anyway. Uh, I'm sorry, but this, this game, it just... Okay. I, I'm gonna end it off here because I've been trying to keep things roughly, again, 20 minutes, like I've said before, I'm gonna stop at that, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna make Lily, like, get down the stairs, and I'm gonna stop right here. There you go, Lily, face the camera, or, or face away if you're shy, that actually looks like you're on timeout, so, um, just, just look at, the, look at the, that works. That works. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, and I hope you guys didn't enjoy Mother Superior and those three assholes. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and all that fancy jazz if you want to. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.